Hey, what's up? My name's Adam, and in this video, I'm gonna explain Evernote versus OneNote. Let's just dive right into it. Evernote is this platform here. So this is actually an account I made for Evernote, and I did a little bit of testing and onboarding. So I added a PDF here. Uh, okay, there's a pop-up. <laughs> and yeah, so it blows up pretty big. I can't really see it yet. Okay, there we go, it's loading. Cool. So it would be nice if I could scroll through this PDF instead of having to click like this. And yeah, that's kind of the extent of Evernote. There's a scratch pad here that you can see. You can create notes here like this, and then it opens up like a, a text editor. Uh, you can add things like templates, to-do lists, meeting notes, project plans, if that's something you're interested in. And here they have like this upgrade and save button that annoys me and that's kind of the biggest takeaway i got from evernote you know i'm not here to bash products i'm just here to provide an overview of what i like and what i don't like and i definitely don't like the fact that they have a bunch of pop-ups for the free version and there's a lot of clunky ui that is telling you to upgrade so yeah i'll now i'll just tell you a, a bit about you know what the upgrade version looks like if you're paying money with respect to upgrading it costs eight dollars per month to use Evernote, which gives you unlimited devices, storage, customizations, and you can search inside of Office Docs and PDFs. And this is a pretty big barrier for me personally to pay because if you're using it for free, you can only use it on one device. And I think that's a pretty limiting factor for me. The searching inside of Office Docs and PDFs is interesting for sure, but I don't know if it's worth $8 a month. And then there's more storage and pro integrations if you go for $10 a month and then to collaborate and ultimately have like a team of people through Evernote, you can upgrade to $15 a month. It's a paid collaboration tool. Some differentiating features would be the drawing feature in Evernote, the dark and light mode if you prefer darkness and then solid search functionality, being able to search within Office Docs and PDFs. Overall, it's simple and easy to use. It has robust features. Again, I've, I've, I've seen more non-intuitive, harder to use products than Evernote. So in terms of note taking and getting stuff done, it, it does work out pretty well as a free tool for one device. Uh, but if you're trying to get it on multiple devices or collaborate, it doesn't scale well for free. And another weakness that I personally felt existed was the the lack of side-by-side -side view. So the way I'm structuring this hub here in Kahana is I have a bunch of different folders and files about different research topics that I've done. This makes it easy for me to consume information and also take notes at the same time. But with Evernote, you're able to just look at one draft at a time, but I'm trying to compare things side by side. So I feel like that's a limiting factor in my humble opinion. The team collaboration tier being paid only is very tough because there's things out there like Kahana, Google Docs, and what we'll cover next, OneNote, that allows you to collaborate for free. So let's just go right into OneNote here and I'll do a similar overview. So this is my OneNote account that I created and it's honestly, it looks very similar to Evernote. So take it for what you will. You can create notes pretty easily and you can organize them into notebooks. It's the same structure as Evernote. The UI is a little bit different, but honestly, these are very similar platforms. One limiting factor for OneNote for sure, and I tried this with OneNote, is that I try to upload a file and it just makes this little icon where I guess you can download the file, but there's no good file viewing system that I'm aware of in OneNote. So it's both mostly for typing notes, drawing, and yeah, that's kind of it. And when you add pages to your notebook, they just add here. You can add sections. Oh, my face is getting in the way. I'm gonna move it. <laughs> okay, cool. So you can add sections like this. These become movable. Yeah, you can share with people. So, you know, this notebook can be shared through an email. With respect to getting started with OneNote, do you need to have a Microsoft account? So you just need an email to create your account and then it'll connect storage to OneDrive. I'm pretty sure about that, but if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments why I'm wrong about having a OneNote account or a OneDrive account to use OneNote. I'm 
positive that's what you need, but could be wrong. The features that I wanted to mention again is text editor collaboration. You can draw handwritten notes, which is cool on tablets. To do tags are possible and you can record audio, add files. But again, adding files is a bit, de uh, a bit deceptive in that you can't really view files. You can just kind of attach them. So take that for what you will. There's a web clipper, which is exactly what you're seeing here. The guy web clipped this web page into Kahana. So, you know, Kahana has a web clipper. It's this little plugin on the top right corner. OneNote also has a web clipper. You know, I think it's fine for general note taking and just kind of an auto save simple tool that works on multiple devices, but I don't think it's great for scaling out some heavy research and content creation. For example, you know, I'm adding a lot of files and documents into this Kahana hub and it's easy to see everything side by side. If I'm looking at hundreds of things at once, I don't think OneNote is the best UI and layout to do that. That's a place I think it falls short. It's good for small doses, I think fine for light collaboration, but if you're talking about a larger project or a grand volume of research, then I don't think OneNote is amazing, although it can be. It can be stretched to do that. Um, it just depends on how robust a solution you're looking for. The layout of tabs could be better. As you add research and you make more notes, there's just gonna be more and more tabs. So take that for what you will. And the search is a little bit uh, imperfect. It's not as powerful as Evernote. Um, there aren't as many external integrations. Overall, you know, that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video is like, those are that's what Evernote and OneNote really look like. And it's funny because I feel like when you go on these marketing websites or you look at other YouTube videos, there's a lot of animation and kind of pretty feature. Like they, they do, a, all these things do a good job of showcasing features, but then when you kind of get into the platform and it's just, it is what it is. You know, this is what Evernote looks like. This is what OneNote looks like. And that's just good to know, I guess, before you get into it and spend time. If you want to access all of this information I've pulled together about pricing, features, and you want to compare and contrast on your own time, I'm making this link to the hub available in the description of this video. If you click it, you can just look at all this research that I've pulled together and you can use it to compare well, uh, Evernote versus OneNote versus Notion versus Obsidian versus Dropbox, you know, like all of it, you can take a look at it. Cause I did all the, for better or for worse, I did all the research. And if you do that, I highly recommend checking out this PDF that I created, which includes just the gist of everything. So yeah, that's a good way to just get a good sense of you know what has a, what has the most features for the for the price and overall like perception of quality versus price yeah and also here's a t here's a matrix of the features and like what what features certain platforms have and which features they don't have thanks so much for sticking with me till the end of this video just wanted to put something together that just gives you real non fluffy information about these tools so you can make a decision as to whether you will use them so yeah, thanks so much for checking this out.